Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning, here tonight to chat about this new Blank Mass album, Animated Violence Mild. Blank Mass, aka Benjamin John Power of Fuck Buttons fame. Ever since that he's kind of drifted away from his original act, I've actually been kind of obsessed with him. I love his very abrasive and in-your-face style as with styles music like ambient and more recently a more dance and industrial sound. His self-titled debut years ago caught me off guard. It was chilly. It was very distant sounding and, you know, actually really beautiful at times. But it was also suffocating and it almost came off like an album that was like dedicated to water levels in Super Mario 64, which is very, very dark. With his next album, Dumb Flesh, he started bringing in these powerful blasts of industrial and noise, as well as some grooves as well, really getting his sound to a T. And in 2017, Blank Mass absolutely blew my mind with World Eater. It's by far one of my favorite electronic releases of the last few years. It's pummeling, it's icy, it's abrasive, with plenty of big beats and harsh noise, all built around the absolutely gargantuan single Silent Treatments, still a track that absolutely blows my mind. It's an unrelenting album for sure, but it is just so damn good. Now, with these new string of singles leading up to this album, it kind of became very apparent that Benjamin was actually working with some more dance-like grooves and such. This is something that he's touched down upon in the past, but hasn't really dove headfirst into. Let's chat about how it works out. The album starts off with its 30 second intro. Honestly, it's nothing too wild, but I do have to say it has a lot of anticipation and it builds up to the first track really well. Then we have Death Drop, and all I have to say is prepare your eardrums. This one goes so hard right off the bat. It is so meaty, so crunchy. Like there is absolutely nowhere to breathe within this beat. Don't get me wrong, you can get down to this. You can certainly groove to this but it's also coming out of the sweatiest and most intense and vicious raves that you've ever seen. Now, I don't know how this is possible with all this happening, but I would swear Black Mass is working with some of his catchiest material to date. Don't get me wrong, these beats will still latch onto your throat and rip it right out. But first, it'll get you out of your seat and serenade you with some actually pretty melodic and incredibly catchy synth chords. The screamed vocals are a great touch that really just drive home the fact that you're still listening to a Blank Mass album. Not to mention, what I love most about tracks like this on the album, it progresses so well. It really builds so nicely over the time, and it really evolves into this 8-bit dance track practically by the end of it, and even that's pretty nice. Now, honestly, hearing House vs. House a couple of months ago, I honestly wasn't that into it. As a matter of fact, it's kind of turned me off. Like, if you're into some of the original, very crushing, blank mass albums, hearing this out of nowhere with no context might actually, like, turn you off. This is a straight up dance track. I mean, it's gonna knock your freaking teeth out first, but still you can groove to this. I love the pulsating beat. And once again, the progression on this track is really brilliant. Like the buildup to some of the first releases is actually pretty stunning. There's also a very whimsical feel floating through the background for most of this track that I can groove with. And once again, between these like larger than light synth chords and these like very twisted vocal snippets, Blank Mass continues to really like get his own niche in these genres. Like only Benjamin John Power can bring in these crushing instrumentals but make them into a timeless sounding dance track. If you haven't noticed, this album is more dance centered than ever, but for the most part, that's not really a bad thing. Then we have Hush Money, and I love how, like, very discreetly as this album rolls on, Benjamin is slowly getting further and further away from the dance floor. This track is gargantuan. Between the very jittery beat and, once again, these gigantic synth chords, this is such an exciting tune. Like, this is the sort of gut punch that I feel like these genres needed right now. Like, let's be real, just out of reach, there are a ton, and I mean a ton, of very poppy elements that I feel like a lot of people are going to be able to gravitate towards very easily. But amongst these very harsh instrumentals, it's almost intoxicating and really addictive. Now, I know I'm in the minority here, but I feel like with some of the other singles on this album, Ben is maybe reaching a little too hard and just going a little too far into dance. Like, Love is a Parasite, for me, this track seems a little rushed. For me, like, as intense and also as catchy as this album's been, it's always been very patient, and the results are very textured, very glistening, and really progressive. Sadly, though, going into this album, I knew that if one track was going to hold me back from really loving it, it was certainly going to be this. 
So far on this album, Blank Mess has really been very meticulous in the way that these tracks are put together. Every single little detail seems to be like adding up to like one big release or a bunch of big releases. But here, it kind of just sounds thrown together. Sadly, I feel this way for almost the entire six minutes here. Like, yes, in the last minute, everything goes to hell, and that's a little exciting, and I do like that for what it's worth. But it's the first time here that I feel like Ben is maybe trying a little bit too hard. And honestly, I might also be in the minority, but I feel a lot of the same things on No Dice. This one is just a little bit too middle of the road for me. Once again, the hulking production is great, and the suffocating atmosphere is very exciting. But I don't really know what happened to like the sort of progressive vibes earlier and the way that each track was building so meticulously. Like I feel once again like I don't really have to be patient for everything. It's all just handed to me and what's the point? But that's just me. I do certainly see the appeal in this track. Black Mass also throws a couple of curveballs at us. Really didn't expect them. Take for example Creature West Fuqua. Like, this track is such a nice surprise. This is a callback in every way to the early days of, like, his self-titled album. It's shimmering, it's cold, and most importantly, it's a foray into, like, noise and ambient. There really isn't a dance beat for miles, and that's not actually a bad thing. This is a really great surprise. And in a really stunning twist, by the end of it, it becomes genuinely tender and seriously beautiful. Like, the layering here is stunning, and it just shows that Blank Mass is just such an artist at the end of the day. And hell yes, Wings of Hate is, like, exactly where I want to hear this as a finale. Once again, like, old-school Blank Mass fans, come over, check this out. This track is far from the dance floor. And while, yeah, that might turn some people off who liked some of the earlier tracks here, this is just a brutal reminder of what Benjamin John Power can do. Like, it still certainly has catchy elements to it. Those soaring synths in the background are just as catchy, trust me. But this track is just not for the weak of heart, and it excites me. Like, in a weird way, this track almost sounds like, you know, like Blank Mass going to remake or give his take on, like, a track from F-Zero. So, no, I don't think that this is the absolute monolith or ground-shaking album that World Eater was a few years ago. But, for the most part, Blank Mass dips his toes into dance music, brings in some electro-industrial, and really comes up with some very interesting and catchy ideas. Like, between these very progressive tracks that really demand a lot of patience, but really pay off, and all of these soaring synth chords and these vocal snippets thrown in, Blank Mass has a sound more than ever that's so distinct right now, and that excites me. Like, yeah, sure, there's a couple of tracks on here that do make me cringe a little, make me wish for the old days of Black Mass, but still, this is a very decent album from one of the better and more interesting industrial, electro-industrial artists, whatever you want to call them, right now. I'm feeling a decent 7 on this album, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.